During the battle with Bold, of course, there was necessary to send a lot of replacements. And I was selected to go along with 17,000 other people on the uh, Queen Mary to England. Well, they're about as bad as they could imagine. I mean, uh, everything you owned was on your back, and uh, everybody carried a trenching tool. You dug a dug a hole, a foxhole, everywhere you stopped. And our, uh, of course, being a company commander, we had uh, bunkers that were dug. We uh, you know, conducted our missions and so forth that we were instructed to do uh, out of these bunkers. A lot of people got killed, a lot of people got hurt, maimed and all that, but I was fortunate. I, I did, I did, I wasn't in Battle of Bulbs, uh, uh, right at the end of the war I stepped on a uh, landmine and was wounded in the leg. But, uh, got the Purple Heart for that. Finally got the uh, Remagen Bridge, in which uh, my battalion was the first infantry battalion across the Rhine River. It was the only thing you could get across the river without uh, building pontoon bridges and so forth. The only bridge still intact. That didn't stay too long. They, they bombed it and finally collapsed, I think, within 10 days. And we had to direct uh, pontoon bridges. It was the beginning of Army communication as far as radio. Everything else used to be signal flags. And, uh, 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 I think they called them the double, double E8 telephone, which a wire. You just laid it on the ground. You never had to worry about uh, the men fighting for, to get a town where they didn't like it out in the, in the open. Well, we, we uh, lost a, a valuable commander in chief, which he was.